What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because they just released another update. This one is called Reefing 39 Data Center. Brought to us again by the very generous Kaminsky, who's one of the community management team at Void Interactive. Ah uh, yes, the developers have actually hinted at this map a few times. And from what I understand, it's actually supposed to be a map that leads into the agency. Or actually when we raid the agency, it's supposed to lead us here to Data Center. This also had me thinking that it's probably also connected to the Valley of the Dolls. Because how the hell are they getting all this money? There's got to be a benefactor here, right? Or at least that's what my initial thinking is. But anyways, it starts off by saying, Attention officers, welcome to our 39th edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. This time around, we'll be showing new developments in our upcoming level, Data Center. Our level designers and artists have been working hard to add new creative aspects to the level to make this level a force to be reckoned with. We are excited to share these updates with our supporters. Wait, is it out? What do they mean by that? I'm curious. Mmm, doesn't look like it's being updated. Maybe I have to switch over to the supporter build? No, that's not being updated either. All right, well, it doesn't look like they've updated it, unfortunately. But anyway, encrypted crimes. The data storage facility featured in our new level, Data Center, is one of the last remaining centers still operating for Mindjot, a company that provides online outsourcing of trade workers to workforces within Los Unes. Mindjot was formerly known for being a platform where people can voice their opinions anonymously. Oh. So the internet. Avoiding punishment from the police and public. Is this implying that freedom of speech no longer exists in America? Because despite what you say, you won't get arrested unless you're actually threatening someone. That's how freedom of speech works in America, so I don't know if they know that, or if this version of America is really bad that they took away freedom of speech. Like, I could say that my government sucks, and I won't get arrested for it. Or are these guys kind of making a reference towards, like, anonymous or something? Due to the lack of the socioeconomic stability in Los Unas, Mindjot quickly grew in necessity at one point responsible for facilitating outsourced work for almost half the city's development projects another key factor to success was my jots utilization of cryptocurrency oh boy nfts and ready or not question mark which proved to be an advantage when the value of the dollar was wavering oh now this is unrealistic we got the first picture here let's see uh definitely looks like one of those data tech centers you'd see the ceiling looks really weird the way that the lights are is just kind of... Why is it like this? Odd. It looks like we got a bunch of error screens here. And an error screen over here. I wonder if this only happens when the uh, the cops raid it. Like, they just, like, take over their system or something. But this obviously is, like, the lobby area, it looks like. The janitor was on duty at some point. Underneath this picture, it says, You know, for a dirty company, their lobby is kept surprisingly clean. Yeah, you might think that, but usually you see, like, the lobby being a lot brighter than this, in my opinion. Then again, I haven't really been to a whole lot of tech centers, so I I wouldn't know but anyways their success took a turn for the worst as larger companies began to lobby for industry change a once strong respectable company became a joke overnight following the collapse mind jut turned once again into a hub for anonymous illegal trade of various listings see that's what i mean like how the hell are these guys staying in business like there's no way that agency is staying in business so there's got to be a benefactor, and I'm assuming it's Amos, that guy from Valley of the Dolls, if I had to guess. He seems like someone with money and into this type of shit. But anyways, moving on to this next picture here. It looks like this is the server room. It's interesting because we actually have some catwalks that go across here. We're going to be able to walk across. That's kind of cool. There's also like a room on the left side here and a catwalk over there. Uh, another room down here that we could go through and a room in the back over there. This is going to be a uh, surprisingly big map, it looks like. I wonder if it's going to be like underground. I think from what I've seen on the previous picture, I'm probably not going to look for it, but it actually looked relatively small on the inside. But anyways, it says the claustrophobic racks will make any gunfights long and dangerous. Liberal use of flashbangs is advised and will keep collateral to a minimum. Yeah, dude, like there's going to be like so many people just hiding behind all this bullshit. Oh boy. I can't wait. Moving on to the next picture here. It has a bit of a close up on the servers in the middle here. There's the catwalk, the middle side right here. RX7405. I can't read the text underneath. And there's some windows on the far right over there. Picture looks interesting. I wonder if we're here to find anything. It would be cool if we could just like tear out a lot of these freaking servers and just like take it with us. But underneath the picture it says, Humming server racks and rumbling HVAC makes pinpointing suspects locations a bit difficult. Oh. Are you trying to say that we won't be able to hear exactly where they are? Ooh, that's actually going to be an interesting challenge. 
But moving on here, the Los Sunas Criminal Investigation Division has found evidence of prostitution, trafficking, and exploitation within MindJot's online server and employees, specifically the security guards. The individual identity of these users has proven to be difficult to identify due to the extensive use of VPNs. Following the conviction of a pedophile, investigators were able to link the distribution of an explicit child pornography to MindJolt. Under this here is another picture of what looks like a very long Long hallway probably the worst enemy in this game long hallways because there's no freaking cover underneath this it says outside of the pristine front desk and server rooms the cracks start to show oh i get it it's because the paint isn't being maintained so it's just kind of deteriorating over time they don't have the money to actually fix this type of stuff interesting but underneath this is another picture it shows what looks like an office and oh my god what year is this game taking place in man this stuff looks outdated as hell mm. but yeah it looks like we got some sort of of office that might be underground just judging by the windows possibly underneath this picture it says one has to wonder if the employees know what sort of data they're managing i mean probably not they're just here for a paycheck i imagine but of course you don't know that underneath this is the final picture and obviously we have some sort of locker room with a couple of servers in the middle here honestly this map reminds me a lot of um i think it's called the red room the one from swap 4 we actually just played a modded version of it in ready or not which i'll probably be uploading in a few days or so but yeah it kind of does remind me of that a lot which i wonder if that's the inspiration or the pictures of this map actually do kind of remind me of a mod that i played a while back i think it's called breaking news kind of looks like that too but pretty interesting looking map doesn't seem like it's gonna be a big one I, I actually quite like the smaller maps in my opinion i don't mind like people have been complaining about the big maps but i think uh the big maps are pretty cool it's just they need to make it so that they're more claustrophobic you know because that that's when ready or not really shines is when the maps are like really claustrophobic but anyways in conclusion this concludes our 39th bi-weekly briefing taking a deeper look into the criminal activity happening within one of ready or not's future levels data center be sure to tune in next time for more development news and has another thing on lurk i'm not even gonna look at that and that's pretty much it for this newsletter what are your guys thoughts it's overall a pretty small one but it's pretty interesting i assume that when this releases we're gonna have a much more updated agency map and we're gonna find out what everything is connected to so yeah that pretty much does it hope you guys enjoyed because i'm gonna end the video right here if you enjoy the fact that i cover games like ready or not then be sure to like the video share the video comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon or hop on that button send a thank you if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content already or not or any other game that i decide to cover and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye